Hello and welcome to YouTube News for June 26, 2015. I'm your host Alex and I'll be walking you through some of the most important and interesting topics revolving around the YouTube platform. First up, YouTube has touted itself as the home of citizen journalism for a few years now, but they just recently launched something called YouTube Newswire, a channel that provides a selected assortment of top news stories from around the world as they happen. In order to do this, YouTube has partnered with Storyful, an agency that will be searching for videos as they're uploaded to potentially be featured on this channel. And before they're uploaded, all videos and stories will be verified by a group of journalist experts called the First Draft Coalition. That way, all news stories are proven to be accurate before they're actually published in video form. I think this could be pretty cool, but we'll have to see how things play out over the next few months. What do you guys think? Do you think this will replace more traditional news programs on things like cable television? Tell us in the comments section down below. Next up, did you tune into the E3 live stream coverage on YouTube last week? If you did, you were part of YouTube's biggest live streams of all time. The E3 live stream received 8 million views in just 12 hours. Altogether, that's about 2 million hours of watch time over the course of a single day. I'm not sure how this stacks up against Twitch's live stream stats for E3, but I'm happy to say that it looks like we have some decent competition between the platforms already. And last up, a bit more of a fun extra to throw in today. Have you checked out any of the 360 degree videos on YouTube yet? If you haven't, I watched a video this last weekend and it was pretty awesome to experience on my smartphone. I recommend you guys check out the music video for Welcome by Fort Minor. I'll leave a link in the description down below, but make sure to watch it on your smartphone or tablet so you can actually turn your screen 360 degrees to get the full effect. Anyways, that's it for me this week, guys. Tune in again on Wednesday. I know it's Friday this time, but I had a microphone issue. Um, so putting it out a little bit late, but tune in on next Wednesday for the latest in YouTube news. Thanks for watching. YouTube also noted that it also has the ability to scale down streams to 30 FPS for devices that can't yet view high frame rates, and that they're working on expanding support in the coming weeks. Secrets. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.